Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In this video I will show you how to make these slides using the push transition. So I started with a blank slide and I just changed the background color to this purple here and then I'm gonna insert a text box and I'm gonna write the first words of my title which in this case this presentation will be about the Chrysler building, so I'm just going to write the words the Chrysler. If you want your letters to be a little bit closer, you can do that uh, by changing the character spacing from this panel. But first I'm going to make the text a little bit larger with this button here. And then I'm going to click on the square here, go to character spacing, click on condensed and then you can change the spacing of the letters. Then I wrote the word building and for this presentation I'm using the font Badoni MT. And remember that you can duplicate objects if you hold control on your keyboard and dragging the object. It can be a text box or an image or a shape. And here I'm just playing around with the font size. And now this effect will look better if the image is naturally large. And by that I mean using an image of maybe a skyscraper or I don't know, something uh, very big like a ship, um, like a spaceship, um, something like that, that can spread across different slides. And for alignment, I'm just gonna group everything with Ctrl G, go to shape format, align to center and align to middle. Now I'm gonna duplicate this slide with Ctrl D. And now I'm gonna go to Google and I'm gonna look for Chrysler Building PNG. Then I'll click on images and then I'll go to tools and I'm gonna select size large because we need a high res image. So I found this PNG from seekpng.com and I'm just going to copy with right click copy and pasting it into the slide with control V. And then I'm just going to make it larger and basically I'm going to split this image across two different slides. So I just want to make sure that the first half of the image, so that's the upper half, fits within this slide. And I'm gonna make some color corrections as well uh, from the format picture panel. If you don't have the panel, you just have to right click on the image and click on format picture. And that's how you'll get this panel on the right. So then I'm gonna click on picture color and I'm gonna change the color to grayscale. And then I'm gonna decrease the brightness and increase the contrast to make the effect a little bit more dramatic against the background, which is very bright. And then I'm gonna select the image, go to picture format, click on crop, and I'm gonna drag this bottom handle all the way to where the slide ends. And just to tidy everything up, I'm just gonna crop the upper part as well, but that's really not, not necessary. And then I'm just gonna insert some text. So here I'm just putting some placeholder text. Uh, my favorite, which is Lorem Ipsum. It's a placeholder text that designers use. And basically these are gonna be like our bullet points. Um, so this could be maybe like a description or um, some facts, like maybe I can list some facts about the building or something like that. And I'm just gonna add a little title here for this bullet point. So in this case will be point one. And honestly, this design is so easy to do and so quick. Um, you really don't need to spend that much time in your slides to make something as amazing as this one looks. 
It's just a matter of having some creativity. And honestly, once you have one point, you can just duplicate it holding control on your keyboard. And it's honestly super quick. So then I'm going to insert a line holding shift on my keyboard to make the line perfect. And I'm going to increase the weight of the stroke. And from this panel here, I'm going to pick an end arrow. So I just picked a circle, cut like that pointer. And then you can just duplicate it holding control on your keyboard. Um, and to flip the direction, I'm just going to go to shape format and click to flip horizontal. So now the dot of the line is facing the other side. Then I'm going to duplicate this slide with control D and I'm just going to move this image up all the way to where the slide ends at the top. And then I'm going to click on the crop button and I'm just going to move the black handles here. So they align with our slide. And then it's just a matter of realigning our points and changing the number. So this one would be 0.4, the next one would be 0 0.5, 0 0.6 and so on and so forth. And this is a good time to remind you to subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm posting a lot of PowerPoint tutorials every single week and also to follow me on Instagram at Lurutia PPT and on TikTok at Lurutia.ppt. I'm posting a lot of quick tutorials over there, so make sure to follow me. And for this slide, I'm going to change the background to a gradient. So I'm just going to get rid of this right here and I'm going to change the direction. And I'm going to create a gradient that goes from purple to a dark gray. Now our slides are already looking awesome, but if we want to add a little bit more depth to our slides, I'm going to add um, some clouds. So I'm just going to look for clouds PNG on Google. And I think I'm going to pick this one right here. So I just copy, right click, copy image and paste it with control V. And that's pretty much it. I'm just going to duplicate some of these clouds. I'm going to flip them. Uh, make them smaller, make them larger to give some some depth to our slide. And for this one, so I'm going to put this one here. And if you feel like they're taking away from the content, you can change the transparency from this panel here. So they're not as bright. And again, I'm going to duplicate them holding control on my keyboard and rotating them, um, flipping them and just playing around and being creative with it. And now for our last step, we just need to select um, these two slides here, go to transitions, click on push which is this one right here. And just make sure the direction is from bottom. And that's it guys. That's how I made these super awesome slides in PowerPoint. If you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. And remember that you can download free slides, free PowerPoint templates from lurutiappt.com. Remember to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I will see you in my next video.